Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So our regular viewers will recognize this product. This is our DNS-323. This is our two-bay serial ATA network attached storage or NAS. And what this does is this attaches to uh, your network so that any of your computers that are on the network can access the uh, files that are on here. And this is a really useful product for, for storing files or doing backups of your system. And it has some built-in features that are really unique. It has a built-in FTP server so that you can get to your files from anywhere. It has a built-in UPnP AV server so that it can feed your uh, digital media files to maybe a, a media uh, player or something along those lines. But today what I want to talk about is BitTorrent. We've added a BitTorrent client into the DNS-323. And what that means is, is that the BitTorrent, the files that are being downloaded are downloaded directly to the DNS-323, so it frees up resources on your PC. Now this is really important for, for people that are maybe gamers or um, maybe you're doing something intensive on your computer you want uh, the resources, as many resources as possible, or you know, freed up as possible, so that nothing slows it down. Well, that's that's perfect for this product because it can be downloading in the background and not take any resources from your computer. So, first thing that we need to do is we need to upgrade to firmware version 1.05. So, what I'm going to show you first is uh, where to get that firmware, how to update it, and then we'll go into configuration of BitTorrent. So, let's go to that. We want to start by upgrading the firmware on our DNS-323 to version 1.05 or higher. So point your browser to support.dlink.com and then point the little boxes at the top to DNS-323 and if you scroll down you'll find firmware version 1.05. Save that uh, firmware to some place that's easy for you to find once it's downloaded, you're going to need to unzip the file and, and get the firmware out of that file. So I usually just put it on the desktop so it's really easy to find. And then you can move it someplace uh, to save it later if you want to. Now, we want to run the easy search utility so that we can get to the uh, web-based uh, interface of our DNS-323. So just highlight it and then click the configuration button. Now just put in your username and password and then click the configuration button. Click the tools tab at the top of the screen and then the firmware button on the left. Now all you need to do is go to where your firmware is at and then apply it. And once this is done, um, you're, you're going to be finished with this portion of it and now your DNS-323 can download BitTorrent. So now that the DNS-323 has had its firmware upgraded to version 1.05, and we've configured the BitTorrent section of the DNS-323 to act as our BitTorrent client. Now we need to get some BitTorrent files. So let me, let me show you how to get the files because there's, there's two separate ways of doing it. One is to actually use the torrent file itself and the other way is to use a URL. So let's go over that real quick. So to configure the DNS-323 to allow for BitTorrent, the first thing you need to do is select it and then click the BitTorrent button. What's going to happen at this point is that the BitTorrent software is going to do uh, a couple of things, uh, add some folders, add a little bit of software to the DNS-323. Once that's done, go back and what you need to do is assign a drive letter to the BT volume that it's created. So now you'll be able to get to it where your files are located once they're downloaded. Now click the configuration button and log back into the DNS-323. But this time, you're going to click the Downloads button instead of the Configuration button. When you click the BitTorrent at the top, and then click the Settings, you'll see that the default port is 6881. 
what we're going to do is now we're going to log into our router and we're going to open up that port by clicking the advanced tab at the top and then under virtual server just type in the name DNS 323 the port is going to be 6881 on public and also on the private then all you have to do is select which computer uh, or in this case is the DNS 323 its IP address you click the, the arrow and it'll automatically put it in there and then save your settings so now your system is configured for BitTorrent to be able to pass its files um, uh, to the DNS 323 so let's go ahead and get ourselves some BitTorrent files by going to BitTorrent.com and then click on the check it out link at the bottom now if you just select one of the categories you'll find uh, movies that can be downloaded and some that are free so I found one here that's free I just click the download button now since the DNS 323 is a BitTorrent client we don't need to click that red button we only need to click the get the torrent only link and then save this file it's a very very small file you save that to your desktop and then close out the BitTorrent website now we're back at the 323 you want to select add torrent from file and then click the browse button that appears now there's our torrent file we just open that we add it and then once that gets into the system now we just click the start button so let's see how you do it with a URL instead so we would do the same thing we would go to the BitTorrent website and then click the check it out link now let's click some free movies and who doesn't like martial arts and here's an a entire movie download for free so we click that we click the download button but this time on the get torrent only file just right click it and say copy shortcut now that's been copied to your clipboard just close out the BitTorrent site and now switch back to the add torrent from URL and then just paste the URL in and then click add now that'll also be added and then just click the start button so as you can see the DNS 323 is is a really good way of downloading files off of the internet without taking the resources off of your computer to get that done so why don't you go ahead and give it a try and that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV I'm Mike and thanks for watching